You can save your artwork to the photo gallery with the background of the canvas transparent. For that, let's tap on the back button. You might have to save as transparent PNG option here, so you can just select that. But if you don't, you can select save image. Now let's turn on the transparent option and then tap on OK. And our image is saved. We can use this image with a transparent background in different ways. For example, let's import it to another artwork. You might notice that the image is a little blurry and that's because this image is a small size pixel art. Normal images with normal size will have better resolution. A razor bucket subtool can delete the color of the tapped area. This is useful when you want to make the background transparent or erase unneeded place. Let's say we want to delete this image's background. For that, first let's select the bucket tool from the tool selection window. These are subtools of the bucket tool. We want to select eraser bucket subtool. Then let's turn on gap recognition. Now we just have to tap the unneeded place of this image, in this case background, to delete the color. And the background is deleted. If you open layer window, we can see that the background is now checkered, indicating the background is now transparent and has no color. Bucket tool allows us to fill the enclosed areas with a specified color, and eraser bucket removes the fill from the enclosed areas. In this example, we will use bucket and eraser bucket to do the base coloring for this artwork. For that, let's select bucket tool from the tool selection window. Now let's select bucket and fill the enclosed areas of this character with desired colors. And as we said before, if we want to remove an enclosed area's color, we can select Eraser Bucket and then tap that area to remove the color. Now let's see the settings of the Bucket tool. This window is the settings window of the Bucket tool. Reset button restores all the adjusted parameters to their default values. Boundary determines the range to fill based on the similarity with the color at the starting point. You can choose to evaluate similarity using color R, G, B, A or only opacity. If the reference layer is a white canvas, the background is fully opaque, so selecting opacity will result in the entire area being filled. If the reference layer is set to current layer or a specified layer, choosing opacity might be more suitable. Strength adjusts how far the fill extends based on the similarity with the color at the starting point. Expansion further widens or narrows the fill range set with the external parameters. Gap recognition neatly fills uneven areas inside the closed lines that are difficult to adjust with the expansion option. Reference here refers to selecting the layer from which the color is taken to determine the starting point and the fill area. If you select canvas, the combined image of all the visible layers in other words what you see on the screen will be used to determine the area. With a specified layer, you can designate a specific layer to refer to when determining the fill area. 
With current layer, the current layer is used as reference. By using a specified layer, you can place the line drawing on layer 2, set layer 1 as the current layer, and fill color separately from the line art. Perspective form is a tool that allows you to add perspective, in other words, depth, to your artwork and textures. For example, this tool is used if you want to add textures to a floor with perspective. Here I have a line drawing of a library and I want to add a flooring pattern to the floor. For that, let's tap the material tool. Now we can search for the pattern we are looking for or we can just tap on the magnifying glass icon and enter the name of the pattern we are looking for. After adding the pattern, let's select perspective form. And then let's change the repeat to inner. Let's adjust the pattern position. With Repeat X and Repeat Y sliders, we can set the density of the horizontal and vertical directions. With the Phase X and Phase Y sliders, we can set the position of the pattern in the horizontal and vertical directions. Now let's click on the tick button, then erase the parts protruding from the floor and also add pattern and color to the rest of the library components. And that's it for today's tutorial, hope you enjoyed and understood it. If you have any question or suggestion, please comment. And don't forget to like and subscribe, I hope to see you in the next part of this tutorial.